So we have a recap of uh, what happened when Roddy Piper returned. So the gimmick was they wanted to see whose talk show was better, Piper's Pit or the Flower Shop. So they set the two talk shows up literally side by side and just co-hosted a joint show. You know, this was up there with the machines. This uh, Roddy Piper ways. character yeah, yeah, yeah. was a very intolerant individual. That's true. That's true. He had no tolerance. He did not want his children watching this man, and he fondled him, and he made fun of him, and he ridiculed him, and it's like it's uh, it's Adrian and uh, and uh, Randy Orton Sr. who really like nowadays they they look it's uncanny how much they look alike except for the hair. And the physique, but uh, and then uh, and then who else showed up? It was um, uh, Don Morocco. Don Morocco showed up. Jimmy Hart was out there, and fucking Roddy is just burying all of them. He calls Morocco fat. He's making gay jokes. He's just like he's just out of his mind. And finally, all three guys beat his ass. <laughs> and I'm like, you fucking deserve that, yeah, dude. You're not wrong. And and like he's making all these jokes. And I mean, fuck. If I have to hear one more fucking word about crowd sweetening nowadays. Dude, this was ridiculous. Like, they keep cutting the fake shots of the crowd. They're ch- piping in the fakest cheering when he does his stupid, shitty jokes. I'm like, oh, my God. This segment just m- murdered me. I was dying. They're probably cutting the crowd so they can put a, you know, eight-minute bit into two minutes. Fuck, it probably went about 20 minutes, yeah. A long time. Yeah, uh, he was, Roddy's calling Adrian an old cow. Telling him to calm down, patting his boobs. Later, had a bra for him to wear, and I, I honestly don't know if that was a fat joke or a gay joke. Maybe even both. He calls Morocco fat. So Adrian is upset that somebody else has been called fat. <laughs> Made fun of Morocco for stuttering. Yeah, 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 that too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what a dick. Piper says he's disgusted by Adrian Adonis. He was a total dick in this Don Morocco says it's a free country. He can wear whatever he wants. Why would, we, why would you want to be on his show if he comes out and just makes fun of you? I don't have any idea. That's a good question for all these talk shows, honestly. <laughs> They're all hosted by heels and all assholes. Well, no, because like Jake, Jake has his talk show, but he only has the heels on. He had heavily gym so on. So they, they all, well, yeah, actually that one was really wacky. Yeah. But normally he has the heels on and yeah. they just cackle together. Yeah. You yeah. know, plot shit. So eventually they beat Piper's ass, beat his chair with a leg, rub makeup on his face. Beat his leg with a chair. Sure. He <laughs> yes, didn't, he yes. Didn't beat the chair with his leg. You're right. <laughs> Thank you. They, like, were whacking him with his chair, and I thought, eh, this is not when Piper got his, his hip surgery. That was, I think, the 90s. Oh, he, they were missing by a mile. Well, I know, but they were targeting his hip, is my point. Yeah. I see. So I was wondering what the deal was, and he was just he was just gone for a while. And then he came back, and this is how they set up the hair match yep. at Mania. Yep. Mm-hmm. And then his, uh, his first... I don't even know if it was his first, but one of his retirements, because he was going to go to Hollywood and be a star. Yeah. And uh, he did do some decent stuff in Hollywood, but. Well, Vinny and I were talking back. about last week, uh, Adrian gets fired, too. Yes. And he comes back for the Mania match. Yeah. So a lot going on between now and in the next six months. What? Yes. Why did they fire Adrian? Uh, did you watch Dark Side of the Ring? I did not. I didn't he either, had a lot of problems. He, there, there, were, there were reasons to be fired. Yeah. Understood. Yeah. So there was no match that came out of this beating on the, on the uh, Piper's well, Pit. Well, no. well, WrestleMania not, not 3, Not to WrestleMania, but yes. not like next week. No. 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 Resnick interviews Dick the Rebel Slater, who identifies himself as Dick the Rebel Slater or the Rebel Dick Slater about 500 times. Hey, get your name out there, brother. I'm, I'm not making fun of him for that. He's very Southern. He was at the Southern 500 hanging out with Richard Petty. He says he wants a title shot against Paul Orndorff, which is news to me. Uh, he's from the South, repeats that several times. He says, Orndorff went to a different school than I did. And then we went to the same school. <laughs> school or Knox? I don't know. I don't know what he was getting they're, at they're, there. They're, they're... He also made some comment about running fast and running hard. Or... Uh, he's talking about yeah, with Richard Petty, the race car driver. So He also, yeah. um, I know it was the 80s and Peruvian marching powder was uh, was a thing, <laughs> but he adjusted his cap about 38 times. Yeah. In, uh... I was about to say there, there was, may have been, there were, there were symptoms of substance abuse here. And then Rebel Dick Slater wrestled Tiger Chung Lee. Oh my God, Tiger Chung Lee. This guy, I think his career lasted 50. I, yes, three I looked the same thing up. Years. Yes. He retired two years ago. Yes. And keep what? in mind, yes. he had a match two years ago, which was like several years after 
He had serious heart issues and had a stent put in his heart. He won a championship what? at age 70. He still came back. He started in like 1970. Yeah. Like 1970, no, it was, it was 61. 60-something. Well, I mean, he was in the original JWA, yes. which was 1970. His first match was with Shibata's dad. Jesus Christ. Shibata's father was his, his first match. And he worked everywhere forever Lord. and then retired and came back and came back all the way through 2022 that's insane yeah so this yeah. match was good for what it was i was far more into tiger sure. chung lee than it was dick slater yeah for, i'd also forgot how big the guy was as a very large korean person so dick slater is an inset promo to reiterate he is from the south he explains the south has the girls and the beach and mashed potatoes and chiclets. And I'm f- partially certain that he meant chitlins. Because I don't think there's anything sure. particularly southern about chiclets. <laughs> baby chickens. Uh, I thought he meant the gum. Fried the baby, baby chickens. <laughs> <laughs> Appetizers, yes. Wow. So uh, Dick wins with an elbow off, off the top rope. Not like the Macho Man. No. Tiger Chung Lee is standing up. Yeah. And uh, Dick comes off the top rope with an elbow and pins him. I was awesome. really impressed with old Tiger in this match. He looked good. Yeah. The announcers were very concerned and focused that Tiger Chung Lee was actually wearing shoes. That's his news. Wrestling. And this was, a, this was a talking point throughout the match. Yeah. It is amazing watching these challenge shows because you got all these guys that, like, they weren't jobbers. Like, they were jobbers on this show. They got brought into WWE to do jobs, but these weren't fucking randos that never did anything or went anywhere. I mean, there's a lot of these job guys that either, you know, went on to be something like Mick Foley and Shane Douglas or were like big fucking stars elsewhere. Yeah. You know, Regal and Tiger Chung Lee. I mean, it's kind of really amazing to watch this show. You're seeing people like great big stars at the very end of their careers some that are like starting their careers. It's a very weird period. Just to reiterate what what Craig said, the the whole purpose of this whole segment with Slater giving his speech and then the inset and Slater's match was get Dick Slater over. Here's his character. This is what he does. And then they spend the entire match talking about uh, Chung Lee's uh, boots. Yeah. Also, the obviously they had to edit the entrance music for poor Dick Slater, so the audio got all yes the out of. Wow. They are terrible on these shows at editing the music out. Yeah. That's happened a couple of times. Uh, I said uh, Dick won, right, with the elbow? Yeah. All right. Snake yeah. Pit with Jake Roberts. Brings out the Doctor of Style Slick and the Natural Butch Reed. So Butch's gimmick, of course, is that he dyed his hair blonde but claims it's natural. He's a natural man, a natural athlete, a natural leader. I love this gimmick because that's all he talks about is what a natural man he is. And he says, from the, from the top of my hair to the bottom of my feet, I'm all natural. And, of course, his hair's, you know, bleached blonde. Sure. And I'm trying to figure out if it's like a, a steroid-like deal as well, because he's all gigantic, talking sure. about how he's a natural athlete or whatever. And then, like, uh, there's boots made of, did he just kill the cow? Like, <laughs> everything about this guy is natural. And he keeps bringing up how natural he is. And then... What the fuck was the line at the end with Jake Roberts? Uh, Who were they feuding with? He mentions the junkyard dog. He, t- he t- tells Butch, there is a greasy black dog around here. Yes. I hope you're the black snake that can handle him. Yep. And then he goes, uh, there ain't nothing natural about the junkyard dog. And as they're fading to black, Jake says something like, he's a natural idiot. <laughs> and they all laugh. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Uh... Commercials for the LJN toys and the Thumb Wrestlers. Always great stuff. Don Hastings and Jerry Allen versus the Dream Team. The Dream Team get an inset promo talking about Johnny V is a fabulous announcer. That was what they devoted their TV time to. So Danny Davis is the ref. He's screwing over the uh, jobbers here. Brutus, who frankly I've never really thought much of outside of just charisma, but when he picked that dude up over his head and then dropped him way down onto his knee for a backbreaker, that looked lethal. And then Hammer comes in and finishes him, finishes him with the figure four. It wasn't just that. He lifted him up halfway and then put him up above his head. It, yes. It yeah. was impressive. Yes. That was a, that's an athlete, this Bruce Beefcake. So Hammer taps the guy with a figure four. That's Hastings. 
And then Alan runs across the ring and starts oh. getting in, into it with Brutus, pushing and shoving him. And I think, okay, so him will lay him out from behind. Him what we do. No, it just stops. Was Jerry Allen shooting on Brutus Beefcake there? Dude, Jerry Allen was another one of those guys. He was in Memphis. He had a win over Randy Savage like wow. two years earlier. He was in the AWA. He beat Rick Rude. I mean, he was another guy who he'd been places. He'd done things. And here he is. Job guy. Th- this show is kind of like the shotgun Saturday night of the 80s. Kind of, yeah. It matches you hmm. forget happened. And there they are. Yeah, that guy was giant. He was massive. And uh, he was playing babyface because the other guys were the heels, and he charged across the ring to stop Brutus and Beef and uh, and Valentine from from beating up his his fo- his uh, partner. Yes. Thank you. That was on the mat. That was all that. But I don't think Valentine and Beefcake were in on it. Um, it was in this match that I noticed the crowd sweetening, if you will. Uh, every time the heels would get booed, the boos were exactly the same. Yeah, yes, they were. They were the same volume, the same, uh, the same yes. booing. It was it very, was very shitty sweetening. Massively, it was the it was the audio noticeable. version of the graphics they have at the beginning and end of the show when they show some wrestler surrounded by some fucking green aura, some shit. <laughs> Half of them are digitized. Yes. yes. Yeah. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button, and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.